Hey, my friend said the trailer is easy to select, but in fact you need to know the rules to choose a trailer. Each rule is money. What are the different types of the trucks? How to choose the type of trailer? What documents are needed to avoid a fine? All these things are important for truck selection and today we're going to speak about it. Let's start. What? When you are in the market for a new commercial trailer, you have many options. The most common type of equipment is a drive-in. Tri-box trailers are by far the most popular freight truck on highways anywhere around the world. Dry goods such as electronics, clothing, groceries plus option dry goods are hauled inside these trailers. The regular industry standard length are 28, 32, 34, 40, 45, 46, 48 and 53 feet. Next type are flatbeds. In flatbeds you can haul anything that may be stacked and strapped down. They are usually either 48 or 53 feet in length. Some flatbeds have side kits which can be employed to secure the loads or for hauling goods such as crate. A step deck trailer is a commercial trailer designed to carry tall cargo that exceeds the legal height limit if transported on a traditional flatbed trailer. There is also a reefer. It is a dry van box with a cooling heating unit attached above the cap. The reefer trailer looks just like a dry box trailer but with the exception of having a cooling device mounted on the front. The sides and doors are insulated. This trailer is most commonly selected for hauling perishable items, including ice cream, diary, plus crate. Power-only trucking is a full truck load capacity solution that occurs when a carrier provides only a driver and a tractor. In power-only trucking, the driver does not bring a trailer but instead hooks up to and hauls a trailer that is either leased or owned by third-party logistics or shipper. Third-party logistics and sometimes shipper specifically engage the carrier for power-only capacity. By decoupling the carrier and the trailer, third-party logistics can create extremely flexible truck load capacity solutions. Whether they lease trailers on the shipper's behalf or move the shipper's own equipment. A cement truck or concrete mixer is a truck that has a concrete mixer hooked up to it. It carries around the mixing equipment to deliver it to the places that need it. The cement is usually discharged from the rear and the drum. Its mix in is made out of steel or fiberglass. Dump trucks are also referred to as production trucks and are used to transport gravel, sand, dirt and other loose materials that are used in construction. In addition, dump trucks can be used to carry waste to landfills. When a cargo load is extremely large, an extra duty truck is often utilized to carry the large freight. These massive loads include things such as houses or otherwise enormous items being carried. Truckers operating extra duty trucks must carry a special license to do so legally. The semi-trailer trucks are the most popular types of trucks. They are capable of catering the most of your transportation needs. The truck can be loaded from either the back, the side and from the top, but only after removing the tent cover. The truck is suitable for transporting pelletized cargo. A low boy trailer is a specialized trailer that's designed to carry oversized or heavy loads. Tanker trucks get their name due to the large tank that is used to store gases and liquids. These trucks only carry liquids and gases and are therefore extremely dangerous in the event of collusion. Tanker trucks are typically associated with the hazardous materials in the loads that they carry. Of course, there are many more type of trucks we talked about the most common. When? When you decide to select a truck, always start with an honest evaluation of how you plan to use your new truck. Then choose the option that will best meet those needs. And don't forget the auto insurance. How? Here are some important factors for the right selection of trucks. 
You should think about how large a vehicle you really need. If you don't plan to tow or haul heavy loads on a regular basis, a mid-size truck may be the best choice. Next, you should choose the cab and bed size. Determine how much space you need both inside and out. Most trucks' cabs are available in regular, two doors, no back seat, extended, two or four doors, small back seat, and crew, four doors, large back seat. Pickup bed options include short, about 5 feet, regular, about 6.5 feet, and long, about 8 feet. Drive a train. Most pickups are available with 4, 6, and 8 cylinder engines. They also come with the choice of 2 or 4 wheel drive. You will need to balance the trade offs between price, horsepower, and fuel economy. When you purchase a new vehicle, don't forget about safety ratings. It is more important than price. You should be sure that everything is okay. Finally, you should decide if you want a new or used truck. When? Before you select a truck, you should also know about the documentation. Because it's money too. To operate a commercial vehicle in USA, the following documents must be carried and shown to enforcement personnel when requested. Driver license documents and any related certificates, registration documents, cab cards, permits, etc. Proof of insurance, special permits for oversized and overweight loads, if required, hazardous materials, shipping papers, if required, fuel tax permits, hours of service records, logbook, bills, invoices, etc. showing content and origin of agriculture products, if required, proof of sales tax payment, if applicable. Do you want to know more about the logistics business? We have a checklist with all the instructions about the logistics business. It will help you to run your business successfully and be sure you won't be put out of service. In the first part of the checklist, you can read how to grow your company. There is info about the BOC3, UCR, MC authority. Next, we'll tell you which load boards are more profitable and useful, what is IFTA and what paperwork you need. After that, we have all the information about drivers, what is IRP, which ELD is the most popular, and so on. Of course, you should know about different types of equipment and which will be more profitable. Finally, there you can find information about all types of inspections and what you will need for them. I hope this video was helpful for you. Next video will be about the approximate cross of each truck. So in order not to miss this video, subscribe to our channel.